Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. Now I am doing the problems on comparative statement. Last seven problems I have completed on common size income statement and common size balance sheet. Now in this video, two more problems I am going to explain you on comparative. Remember, comparative statement analysis will be applied for intra firm within the same firm one year with another year we make the comparative and common size statement can be prepared for inter firm as well as intra firm for both we can make use common size so here comparative in comparative statement we are comparing two years data last year and current year then we make two more columns absolute change and percentage change so totally four columns we have to make last year column current year column absolute change column percentage change column this is the format of making comparative income statement so now i'm going to start eighth problem but before that i expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which i have given in the link under my description always keep it ready and take a screenshot of the solution of eighth and ninth problem then i'll explain See the problem number eight. <clears throat> Prepare comparative income statement of Mehak Limited from the following details: 31st December 2017, 31st December 2016. So 2016 is the last year, 2017 is the current year. Particulars are given revenue from operations. Last year 140% of cost of revenue from operations, and current year 160% of cost of revenue from operations. So directly amount is not given percentage is given so we calculate this 140 percent and 160 percent on cost of revenue from operation so next page it is given uh, purchases are 4 lakh 50 thousand 2 lakh 50 thousand cost of revenue from operation last year 3 lakh current year 5 lakh operating expenses are last year 12 percent of the cost of revenue from operation and current year it is 10 percent of the cost of revenue from operation Income tax rate last year 40%, current year 50%. That's all. So this is the information given for last year 2016, current year 2017 regarding income statement. Now see the solution here. Mehak limited comparative income statement for the year under 31st December 16, 17. So particular score. Then 2016, last year 2017, current year. Then absolute change and percentage change. This is the format. Now first of all, we'll take the particulars income income will be from revenue from operations so here revenue from operations it is given in the problem 140 percent and 160 percent of the cost of revenue from operation the cost of revenue from operation is given 3 lakh last year 3 lakh current year 5 lakh the 140 percent 140 percent of 3 lakh you will get 4 lakh 80 thousand 160 percent of 5 lakh you will get 8 lakh right first of all we fill up the data of last year and current year after completing that we will go to absolute change and percentage change so we got the revenue from operation and from that we deduct cost of revenue from operation remember the purchases are included in cost of revenue from operation so in the problem purchases are given simply ignore we don't require because purchases are included in cost of revenue from operations subtract Revenue from operation minus cost of revenue from operation will get the gross profit. See here, four lakh twenty thousand revenue and cost is three lakh. So one lakh twenty thousand is the gross profit last year. Current year eight lakh minus five lakh three lakh gross profit. From gross profit we deduct operating expenses. In the problem it is given operating expenses are twelve percent and ten percent of the cost of revenue from operation. Again. We have to calculate 12% of cost of revenue from operation. What is the cost of revenue from operation? 3 lakh. 3 lakh into 12%, you'll get 36,000. 5 lakh into 10%, you'll get 50,000. So these are the operating expenses. Deduct operating expense, 120 minus 36, 84,000 is the profit before tax. 
and here 3 lakh minus 50,000, 2 lakh 50,000 is the profit before tax. From this, we deduct income tax. It is given in the problem last year 40%, current year 50%. So 40% of 84,000, 33,600. 50% of 2 lakh 50,000, 1 lakh 25,000. Deduct, you will get profit after tax. So 84,000 minus 33,600, 50,400. This is the profit after tax. Similarly, 250 minus 125, 1 lakh 25. So whatever information is given in the problem, we have applied and we have calculated what is the profit after tax for last year and current year. Now we need the changes, the changes, in absolute terms and percentage terms. So already in the last video, in the short problem, I explained you how to calculate the absolute change and how to calculate the percentage. Again, I repeat, absolute change is equal to current year value minus last year value. So current year value 8 lakh, last year value 4 lakh 20. So 8 lakh minus 4 lakh 20 thousand, you will get 3 lakh 80 thousand. This is the absolute change. Now percentage change is equal to absolute change divided by last year figure into 100. Absolute change is 3 lakh 80 thousand. Last year figure is 4 lakh 20 thousand. So 3 lakh 80 thousand divided by 4 lakh 20 thousand into 100, you will get 90.48 percent. This is the percentage change. Similarly, for cost of revenue from operation, current year 5 lakh, last year 3 lakh. So 5 lakh minus 3 lakh, 2 lakh. Then 2 lakh divided by 3 lakh into 100, you will get 66.67. Similarly, gross profit. 3 lakh minus 1 lakh 20 thousand is 1 lakh 80 thousand. 1 lakh 80 thousand divided by 1 lakh 20 thousand into 100, 150 percent. 50 minus 36, 14. 14 divided by 36 into 100, 38.89. Like this, we have calculated the absolute change and percentage change. That's it. This is the end of 8th problem. <coughs> now, see the ninth one. The income statement of Priyanka Limited is given for the year ending 31st December 16-17. Rearrange the figures in a comparative form and study the profitability position of the concern. So in this problem, we have rearrange the data given into income statement and then we have to give a comment also. <coughs> the information given is net sales, cost of goods sold, operating expenses. General administrative expense, selling expense, non-operating expenses, interest paid, income tax. That's so. So very easy problem. Easily we can find out the absolute change and percentage change. The only thing is you must know how to give the interpretation. I'll explain. Priyanka Limited, comparative income statement for the year ended 31st December 16, 17. The first column particulars, second column. 2016 last year, 2017 current year, absolute change, percentage change, as usual. Net sales are given. So first of all, we fill up the data of last year and current year. After completing these two columns, then only we begin our calculations for last two columns. Simultaneously don't make, first you complete the data given in the problem. So net sales last year 785, current year 900. From net sales, deduct cost of goods sold, you will get the gross profit. So net sales minus cost of goods sold, you will get the gross profit. Denote it as A. 335, 400. From gross profit, now we have to deduct the operating expenses. In our problem, two operating expenses are given. General and administration expenses, selling expenses. Both figures you take it of last year, current year. Total of operating expenses, 150, 162. This is denoted as B. A is the gross profit. B is the operating expenses. Now deduct A minus B. We will get operating profit. Operating profit A minus B. 335 minus 150. 185. 400 minus 162. 238. This is the operating profit. From operating profit, deduct the non-operating expenses. So non-operating expenses are interest paid. So last year 25, current year 30. Deduct will get profit before tax 160 to note it. This is the profit before tax. From this, deduct the income tax given in the problem. Income tax given in the problem 70, 80. Deduct will get profit after tax 90, 120. That's all. Whatever information is given in the problem, we have presented in this format. 
and this is suitable for our analysis. Now absolute change already I told you current year figure minus last year figure. So 900 minus 785 is 115. 115 divided by 785 into 100 14.65 absolute change divided by last year figure into 100 will get percentage change similarly 500 minus 450 is 50 50 divided by 450 into 100 11.11 similarly gross profit 400 minus 335 is 65 65 divided by 335 into 100 19.40 like this you have to make all calculations for absolute change and percentage change now with the help of this data, we can give the interpretation. See here carefully, first interpretation. The increase in net sales is greater than the increase in cost of goods sold. This led to a modest increase in gross profit. See, what is the percentage increase in net sales? So net sales increased by 14.65%. If you compare last year with current year, our current year net sales have increased by 14.65 whereas the cost of goods sold has increased only by 11.11% that means revenue is increasing at a higher rate cost is increasing at a lower rate due to which the profitability will be more the profit will increase by 19.4% 19.4% so there is a slide, there is an increment, significant increase in gross profit. Why there is significant increase in gross profit? Because the revenue is increasing at a higher rate than the cost. That is the first interpretation. Second one, the operating expenses have recorded a marginal growth. Operating profits have increased on account of slow growth of operating expenses. Now compare gross profit with operating profit. The gross profit have increased by 19.4%. Whereas operating profit have increased by 28.65%, still higher. The operating profit is increasing at a higher rate than gross profit. The reason, operating expenses. The operating expenses are in between this GP and operating profit. But operating expenses are increasing at a slow rate. What is the rate of operating expense? Only 8%. Only 8% rate operating expense are increasing. That's why there's a big jump in operating profit, 28%. Next comes interest and tax have increased, but the growth rate is less than the operating profit. Operating profit is increasing by 28.65. Whereas income tax and interest, first of all, interest is increasing by 20%. Tax is increasing by 14%. So 20% is the rate of increase in interest and 14.29% is the rate of increase in tax which are lower than operating profit. Operating profit is increasing by 28%. So this 20% and 14% are lower. That's why there's a big jump in profit after tax. The profit after tax has increased by 42.22%. The profit is increasing at a very high rate. Because the increase in income tax and increase in interest are lower than operating profit. Then the overall strategy of the company is focused on cost reduction. The company must however look into the capital structure and check the growth of interest. From this comparison we can say that the uh, 2017 year the company is capable of controlling the cost. Controlling the cost, that's why the profitability is increasing. But we suggest the company to look after the capital structure. If in capital structure there is more debt, then the company is paying more interest. To reduce the debt, then interest charges will reduce. Because here interest is increasing. 20% <coughs> is the increment in the interest rate. So interest rate will increase on account of debt. So try to control, we suggest the business to control the debt so that interest charges should decrease. Lastly, the overall position as regards profitability is satisfactory. From this analysis, we can say the profitability position of the company is satisfactory. There's a moderate increment in the profitability in the current year 2017. These are the points you have to write in examination. Most of the students can be able to make the calculative part 
but they will find it difficult in giving the interpretation. Remember, if you don't write interpretation, you will not get the full marks in examination. When it is asking specifically to comment, it is compulsory, mandatory to give the comment. So after listening this lecture, after watching the video, definitely you can be able to remember the points and write in examination. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.